So today I hit my 30 pound marker. It's crazy because I lost five more pounds. It's just surreal. I can't believe that when I started this program, I was 322 pounds. And now I'm at 292, which is just like seven weeks to lose 30 pounds. It's just like, and to know I did it the right way. I ate right and I'm working out and I'm just improving my overall health. It's just amazing. So that in itself, and I actually feel like I lost more this week, but I'm like, oh, I don't even care. I had 30 pound marker, like woohoo. I mean, that's just, that's awesome. I can't even put a price on that. That makes me just want to push that much harder. Week seven was a little difficult for me. Um, just energy wise, I didn't feel up to it. Didn't feel like getting up. When I came here, everything felt just like I was starting over. However, um, by Wednesday, which is the end of the week for us, really, I kind of picked it up and, and ran with it. So. This was a little tough for me, so I hope we can do better. Um, weight seven was one of the hardest ever. We did a lot of um, different things, and um, definitely the trainers bumped up the pace before we could kind of take rest in between some of our activities, and this week, no. There's no more resting. It's going full speed the whole time. Well, I thought I was over the hump as far as getting where I need to be and working out the soreness and stuff, but now I think I'm just now on the mountain climb up. I mean, we. They've definitely kicked it up to the next level this week. Week seven, um, I took last week off, so week seven was like starting over for me, it felt like, which a lot of them have said it was just hard on everybody, but um, they've kicked it up, that's for sure. Like, like I think they want us to do double what we've done so far. This week, this week I feel like was like a, a week of triumph for me personally, I think for a lot of people too. Last week, our group as a whole didn't do too well. We only lost 60 pounds. Um, I personally was at a standstill. Um, and I just kind of feel like everybody came this week with the mindset of, hey, I have to do better. Even if you feel like you did do your best last week, like go above and beyond this week. And I know everyone in my group, it was just like crazy to just see everybody's faces. Like as soon as we were ready, just be like, oh, I'm ready to stop. It's time to go. I mean, and it was just amazing to see everybody pushing each other. We're going to produce big numbers this week. Five o'clock didn't beat us this week. I guarantee that. So this week, I feel like the team morale definitely improved so much. And we got like the big picture of things. And when you see people out in the stores and at schools and stuff, they're like, how are you doing? You know, positive motivation. So that's been awesome this week. Um, my husband and I have joined a gym locally. And so hopefully that'll help us stay motivated and we're working together and eating healthy. And now that the healthy eating has come, become more of a um, habit, hopefully that'll carry over easily into the school year. I most definitely am going to continue working out. Um, probably won't be as early because I'm a full-time student and mom and teacher, but I'm going to definitely find time to work out and I'm just going to continue eating healthy. That's going to be the biggest change that I'm going to have to continue after the program is eating healthy. So I'm going to take everything that I learned within a program and just continue doing it. I really want to keep it up. I'm getting married in December, so I have to keep it up to, to look good for my wedding. But um, it's more than that. I really I feel a ton better, and that's the main thing. It really is kind of a mentality that he has put us in. And I really, the days that we're not here, Friday and Saturday, it, if I don't get to work out, it's really kind of a bad thing. I regret it. People in my group and even some of the teachers back at school have already gotten together, talked about different ways that we can make time or find time to do it once we get back in school. But definitely, I'm not doing all this hard work to let it go. <laughs> I don't know that I can do this intense by myself. I, I need somebody making me do it. Like I, every time I think I can't do something, they come by, Clark comes by, somebody and ups it and I can end up doing it. When I work out on my own, I'm not doing near, near the intensity, even though I want to. I want to have that. I just don't have it on my own. So um, we're working as a team, Clinton, and um, we've talked about all going to the health flex and working out together in the mornings and the ones that can't do mornings doing afternoons together. And so, I mean, we plan on doing it, but we almost wonder if we don't need a boot camp all year long, you know, to make us do this. I talked with him the other day about helping out with the kids in the fall because I don't just want it to be, you know, hey, this is a 10 week program I did. I want it to be a lifestyle. And my organization I work for, a lot of the members have come up to me that are doing the program and they want to start a health coalition for the district and for the Department of Education. So, I mean, it's 
we're gonna start it and it's gonna go on and on and on and I mean my family's even they've even caught the PLS because they're like hey I want to go running I want to go swimming the other day we swam like four miles in the pool last and night we went out to eat and going out to eat is really difficult when you're trying to really watch what you're eating because you don't know exactly what they're putting in the foods and the sodium content and all that kind of stuff so I was really conscious about what I was ordering and I was talking to my parents about it and they actually asked about Paul's program in the fall so I can tell that it's really spreading towards the family and friends I'm in my um, summer school grad school classes I've had a lot of people ask me about what I'm doing because they're all teachers and so I've been able to share that so it's been a lot of people have asked and it's been easy to tell others my fiance I have forced him to run the 5k with me and so he's been training so on the weekend you know we try to work out together and you know we go to to the gym and just run so getting ready for the 5k my daughter will run with me some I can't get my husband out to do anything but anyway maybe eventually <laughs> honestly I can't I try but um my kids who are 13 12 and 7 they'll go want to ride a bike but like if I run to my mother-in-law's house now instead of drive there they'll ride their bikes or run with me when I went on vacation everybody knew I was watching what I ate they knew I had to work out in fact we made sure that I worked out I went to Philly and we went to a boot camp at the the steps the art museum that Rocky ran I mean so my whole family knows that I'm into this we walked up the Rocky steps one day just it, my my brother's house and restaurant are near all of this stuff so we could walk down there and it was probably about a half a mile to walk down to the Rocky steps and then we walked up and we got our picture in front of Rocky and we did all that one day and I was out of breath just going up them one time well, at the end of my vacation, my sister-in-law is in a running club in Philly. Well, she said there was a boot camp at the bottom of the Rocky Steps. Why don't you come do it? And I was like, all right, I'll come do it with you. Well, I didn't know it was the running club's boot camp. So I show up, fattest person there with my Team Clinton shirt on in this boot camp, babe shirt. And, uh, and the warm-up was running the Rocky Steps five times up and back. That was, that was the warm-up. That's what she said. She was like, oh, let's warm up. Okay, five times. So after we did those five times, then we had to go around and there's sides around the rocky steps that kind of go up around and then there's stairs and then they go around and there's stairs and then you run across the top of them. Well they had to do so many laps of that. I'm not for sure how many. I just kept going until they made me stop. And then we did five things of the rocky steps again and I stopped at eight. Like I was, I, I had done all I could do. With Mama, she prints all, I email her the, um, the food diaries and she prints it off for her employees and uh, you know everybody's keeping up with what they're eating they're even like creating the biggest loser program at their job to see who's losing so it's it's cool to see and they're in a whole different state they're in Atlanta so it's cool to see everybody I talk to they feel like well I need to get on my game because you're calling me you're texting me with your numbers and I need to have something to respond back to so definitely uh, the homework is definitely panning it, it definitely makes me feel frustrated to know um, that we're still considered to be an obese state um, however, I think I think that this program is is going to add some insight to how healthy we should be and things that we should do, and it may jumpstart the ripple effect for things that 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 should take place because it needs to start somewhere. So if they see how great the teachers did or are doing, then maybe it'll motivate others to get out. Um, I've noticed that this summer, just me going to the gym and being here, I see a lot of more people working out, so um, it takes time. It takes time. I don't think we'll stay there. It's really disappointing that, you know, we're here and we're working really hard to change that, but I know there are others that it's going to be a lot more difficult to convince them, but hopefully once we're able to get out and into the classroom and teach our students that it'll affect the next generation coming up because kids are much more impressionable than adults. Adults are kind of set in their lifestyle and their ways, but kids you can kind of mold them and they look to you for advice as a teacher. So hopefully, you know, bringing up this generation will be able to bring up a more nutritionally conscious and fit generation. I feel like that a lot of it comes from ignorance, you know, just not knowing what's good and what's bad for you. And I feel like that Mississippi has done a really good job of getting programs out there, especially like in the schools. All our school lunches are like provided by nutritionists and they're gone over. And so, I mean, I really do think that we're taking precaution, but you know, it comes to self accountability too. And it's easy for all of us to say, oh, Mississippi doesn't need to be obese, but until you do something about it yourself, then we're still going to be obese.
We've got a lot of work cut out for us, um, but a lot of it is just technology and kids and what in adults. I mean, we're just we're just lazy. I mean, overall, we're just lazy, a lazy state. And I think until we get this back, if we can get this back to the kids, and the kids can motivate their parents, and then maybe it can go from the kids to the parents instead of the parents to the kids. At first, you know, when I would hear that, I would kind of feel like, okay, well. Where's the problem? We need to do something about it. And I was kind of one of those people that from the sideline would just critique and talk about it. And I'm like, Sarah, if you're not going to help do something about it, you really don't have room to talk about it. So now I feel like I have the opportunity to go out here and help these people to obtain something that we haven't been able to obtain in the, in the past seven years. And I definitely feel like it's possible for us to no longer be the fattest state. If our attitudes can trickle down to everyone else, I mean, the sky's the limit, literally. I am ready for the 5K. Um, I hope to bring my husband um, and who knows who else, maybe some other friends and family members. We've been, my husband and I have been jogging at night, getting ready for it. So hopefully we'll have a huge group there. I'm getting ready. Um, like we had a, a practice 5K last Monday and I did really well. I ran the entire time and that's my goal. I want, I don't want to run walk. I want to run the entire way. And I'm encouraging a lot of my friends. I've got five on board that say they're going to come. They say they're not going to run, but they're going to participate. And I want to bring people from, I want to bring the, my other co-workers from the school district to run the 5K. I really appreciate Paul. He's kind of the voice inside your head um, telling you, you know, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Um, if I eat something I know I'm not supposed to, he's still there. He's, well, you're going to pay for this Monday or whenever. So. Um, I really, I couldn't have done it without Paul. I have so much gratitude and appreciation for him. I, I don't think thank you's enough for what he's done for us. I think Paul's a big teddy bear. He just has to put on um, the, the tough skin for us because like he says all the time, this is, this is what he does and this is what he's passionate about. And I really can, I really can see with how he pushes us. Um, Throughout the weeks, the softer side is, is coming out of him. He, he's saying more encouraging words to let us know that he's just not the big mean guy. He really does care about us and he wants us to be healthy. So um, the, the tough layer of skin is, is slowly peeling away. By, by week 10, he probably, sh he probably shed a tear. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> he's tough, but he's also, you know, we understand why he's being hard on us because he wants us to achieve and it's easy to convince yourself to slow down or stop if you don't have someone there to push you and so he's there to push us and make us better so I really respect him for that. To me now his approach is a little bit nicer than what he was in the beginning and so I don't know if, but don't tell him I said that because I don't want him to go back hollering. <laughs> I still don't like him, who does? No, I'm joking. He's, he's not as intimidating as what he was. I mean, he came and stood by my treadmill today and talked to me. And of course, I don't want him talking to me when I'm on the treadmill. Who can talk when they're on that treadmill? But, uh, but he's not as intimidating. And I know he does have our best interests out for us. And I, as mad as I get at him, he's making me do things I would have never done. So I feel like he's like such a positive role model. I mean, I look forward to hearing him and seeing him. And you know, it's just tough love. And I really appreciate somebody who can take the time out to tell me what everybody else didn't. You know, so you have so many enablers around you, people that are not helping you to do better. And you have him, he's gonna tell you the real, just period the end and help you get better. He's not just doing this to degrade you or anything, but he's just telling you so you can have a reality check with yourself and like, let's do it together. That's what I love about him. He's like, not like you need to do this, you need to do that, but I'm gonna do it with you. I'm going to give you the tools and show you how to do it. So I respect him so much. So when I see Paul and Kroger and I'm walking around, I was trying to buy some organic chips the first time I saw him and I, I heard him and I was like, is that Paul? And then I'm like, oh my God. So I'm about to pick up the Kettle brand jalapeno chips and he dashes around the side. He's like, what are you doing? And then I was like, oh, um, hey. And I was like, I'm just grocery shopping. So he comes over, he's scoping out my basket. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus, I didn't get those chips because I knew I wouldn't have heard the last of it. Then we get through, through the checkout. He's in his car. And I'm like, is he making sure that I don't go like anywhere else? And he's sitting over there. Then he passes by, he honks. And then I see him again in Kroger. He's just behind me and I'm like, is it just convenient for you to just follow me and see what I'm doing on my aisles? And I was like, don't you have a list to go by? And then he's like, I just appreciate y'all so much and I just love you guys and I just want you guys to know that it doesn't just stop when y'all are working out. So I appreciate that. I mean, now it's a better decision making for me, but he's everywhere. 
He's everywhere. <laughs>